The first step to radiusing the corners is to snip a small amount off of each corner with our snips. Now, when I say a small amount, it's the uh, lab suggests an eighth an inch. The whole idea here is it's not a big amount, it's a small amount. You can always snip more off, but it's hard to snip more back on. So we're going to take a small amount off that corner, and you can see just a tiny, tiny little bit has come off that corner. I'm going to go ahead and do that to all of the corners. Once again, if in doubt, make the amount that you snip off the corner smaller, not bigger. Here's my original, and there is my corner snipped version. Now I need to file the corners. I usually go to the corner of a bench to round the corners, and I simply take my file, and all it takes is a couple of rounded strokes to round those corners. difference between a well-rounded set of corners and a poorly rounded set of corners is the difference between something that's professional and something that's not professional. The next thing we're going to do while we've got the file is we are going to square off each edge. So I'm just simply going to run the file once across each side and that gets rid of any burr that's on that side. It does not take long. Now I have a deburred and D-sharped cornered, if that's a word, piece of aluminum. This blank is ready to use.